How we doing guys? Welcome back to another Robert Does Fishing Vlog. Today you join me uh, at the River Air in the Mochlin and Balloch Mile Beat. Uh, so today we're going to have a, a shot at some salmon. Uh, the trout season's over uh, now uh, on the River Air. That finished on the 15th of September. So um, on the River Air we've got till the end of October uh, to try and get some, some salmon or sea trout. So fingers crossed today. The river's been up and down uh, during the week there. It's running off after um, uh, after quite a big spate uh, midweek there with all the rain that we had. So. Uh, fingers crossed, there has been some nice double figure fish caught on this beat and also from some other beats further downstream as well. Uh, so the fish are there, uh, it's just a case of, uh, a case of uh, trying to entice them uh, to our fly or, or spinner or whatever. Uh, so I'm fly fishing today, the water's looking uh, pretty good, uh, it's not coloured. Um, this is a quite a sort of peat stained river so it, it is naturally quite dark, uh, the water colour. So uh, yeah, we'll be fly fishing today. Uh, I'm up just outside the village of uh, Catherine at the moment. Um, I've parked my car down at the down at the Howford Brig, so I'm going to work my way back down there and uh, yeah, see if we can see if we can pick anything up. Uh, so yeah, I'll just uh, flip the camera out, camera round and we'll um, we'll explain a wee bit about my my setup that I'm using today. All right. All right, guys. The setup today is just my uh, ten weight. Uh, sorry, ten foot, uh, seven weight single handed rod. Uh, the weight forward 8 floating line uh, on the end of that I've got a 5 foot airflow salmon poly weeder I've got an intermediate on just now I might change that to like a slow sink or a medium sink when I get down, further downstream there to some of the deeper pools uh, so yeah on the end of that I've just got I think about 6 foot or 15 pound maximum nylon and uh, the fly choice for today see if that focuses in on that is a wee red single size 8 flamethrower pattern with some gold on it and some jungle cock eyes and a, and a hot head there so yeah let's uh, work our way down this this pool it's a nice looking pool just work my way start my way at the neck there it's quite a long pool this and uh, we'll just work my way down goes all the way around the corner there so yeah let's get in make some casts and, and see what happens all right guys as always we'll Start with some shorter casts. Just in the kind of faster water here, and just gradually extend the line a bit. That was a hit. Must have been a wee trout, I think. Okay. 
wee bump there. Right, we've moved down to this, this stream here that looks quite good. I've never, ah, oh, it's quite, it's quite bouldery. I'll need to watch my foot in here. Um, I've never actually fished this bit before, but it's, there's not a lot of casting room behind you, so just need to persevere and see how we get on. I'm not going to spend too long here. I'm just going to... A few casts. There's another bit you can access down there that looks a bit shallower, but... Again, there's this bit in the road that might catch my back cast, so... We'll see what happens. That bit down there looks quite good as well, but I don't know if there's a way you can access the water. There's a good pool at the corner. Um, whether or not it's safe to cross down there or not with the height of the water. I'll have a look when I'm down there and make an assessment because I'd quite like to have a quite like to have a cast in there as well. This is a corner bit I was telling you about. I was thinking about crossing over there. But the water's up a wee bit. I'm not 100% comfortable. I would have had to get in where that tree is over there. I think that's blocking access anyway. So I'm just going to have to try and fish it for this side. But I am not 100% comfortable crossing over there. So if and down, don't do it. So, Yeah, I've moved up to quite a, a big deep pool that I'm just fishing the neck at just now. Always worth a shot. It goes around the corner there into a big deep slow still pool. But I'll have a shot here with this. So, not fast water but moving water at the top of the pool. See what's happening.
Oh, there's a big heron. <laughs> Ah, I hear you. I'm some telling all pals that I'm here. Whenever we go here, you never know. You never know. Just walked along the river there instead of instead of along the river airway. Just down the river bank because uh, there's a few pools I've never fished here before. looks like a bit of a deep hole before or a deep gutter before that fast water so I thought why not try it looks like a good bit for the hitch fly actually <laughs> if I had some lighter if I had some lighter uh, nylon with me that might have been a good shout
right, just came down to skimming to have a shot. A few guys fishing at the meetings. So uh, we'll fish for the nursery here. Down to the brig. See how we got on. Oh, there's a fish. Oh. Hopefully it sticks. We're into a salmon, folks. up on the bank in here I was going to say I don't know if it knows it's hooked yet but Just kind of sitting. Might be too much pressure on it. Oh, it's doing the head shakes.
coloured fish to be expected Attempt it. Just a wee one, a wee gross, but Let's see if I can get it up and Ah, ah oh dear. That's the way it goes. Ah, oh dear. Well, at least we know they're there. Ah. Maybe I was too quick to try and get it into the net there. Oh well, it was nice to be into a fish nonetheless. There's maybe a few sitting there, so... Well, uh, we'll have another go. Ah. annoying <laughs> you never know maybe some of some of his pals are still kicking a bit Hard for that fish today to ah dear. That's fishing folks. There's another one. Hopefully this one sticks. Hopefully I can get this one on. Ah, didn't the head shakes. I hate that. Been a few sitting in there then. Hard going with a single hand rod. Jeez. Hopefully, 
hopefully this one's hooked better. Hate those head shakes. It's not ready yet. Ready yet? Can I really bully it too much with this rod? Cause I'll just ping off like the last one. Right, come here. Oh, there's no light to look at the net. Yeah, that's it. Oh. There we go. Oh my god. Nice fish. Beautiful hen fish. Oh. oh, I'd maybe give that about six pounds. Is the fly out? Let me see. Aye, flies out. Oh my god. Jeez. Here we've got a quick picture. Lovely golden colours. Are uh, ready now? A couple of kicks. Are you ready?
there's a couple of kicks going. Are you? Yes. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Ah, oh, fantastic. Happy with that. First river ear salmon in goodness knows how long. That's uh, brilliant. That's my first river ear salmon since 2006 or something like that. I think I explained in one of my first videos, guys. I took quite a bit of a long hiatus with fishing. Um, and that's my first river ear salmon. On the fly as well, so... That means, means a great deal to me. You know, I like going fishing up to the D and the Tweed and... The Tay and all that, but... There's uh, nothing beats getting a getting a nice fish out your home river. Neither it does. What time is it? Ach, we'll have a go. We'll have another go. It looked as if there was maybe one or two sitting in there, so... We'll see. Oh, fair chuffed with that. Excellent. There's a fly that done the damage, the wee red, red size 8 single flamethrower. There's fish jumped in there, something's brought them on. That fly swinging in there is must be the good speed for them. Well guys, that turned out to be quite a good day. Uh, so we got hooked into two salmon there and, and got one of them to the net, which I'm absolutely delighted with. Um, as I say, like that means a lot to me. Um, that's my first uh, my first salmon off the River Air since 2006 or something like that. First salmon on the fly in the River Air. And also my first salmon on a single-handed rod. So a few firsts there. But uh, no, I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Um, as I say, I'm... I'm I'm buzzing about it. That's that means a lot to me. Um, you know, even though I, even though I live in Glasgow now, I still consider um, the Mochlin and Balch Mile uh, beat the river there like my home home river, if you like. Um, so I that that really means means a lot to me. Uh, getting a salmon salmon off your home river, there's no no better feeling than that. Uh, so I great day. I uh, thought it was going to be one of those days at first. Um, certainly certainly worked hard for those fish. Um, fished uh, a lot, pretty much the whole. Um, a good chunk of the whole beat today, with the exception of the, um, the exception of the bit down at Failford that they've got this year. So, so yeah, um, really, really pleased with that. Um, I hope the footage is good. Um, 
but yeah guys if you as i always say if you if you like what you see um please like the video please subscribe to the channel um yeah it really helps the helps the channel grow and um yeah i'll try and try and be out a few more times before the the season's finished as well um i've got a trip booked down to hosborough in the river tweed and that will be on friday the friday the 13th of october so that may or may not be my next uh, the next time you see me on the river uh, but yeah guys if you can like the video and if you want to see more uh, press that subscribe button uh, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you soon cheers